Hey guys, it's Kyle from AK Pro Films. And Anson here visiting. Computers have become an essential part of everyone's lives in the modern age. So today, we're going to show you how a computer works. There are eight essential parts of any computer, whether it is a laptop, desktop, phone, or smartwatch. These components are a case, power, cooling, processor, motherboard, memory, storage, and video output. Before you can begin to build any piece of tech, you need a component to hold all the parts. Cases come in all shapes and sizes, ranging from the Corsair 750D series you see in this desktop to the enclosure housing of a 15-inch MacBook Pro and the metal enclosures around your phone. In a desktop, this case allows for airflow and expandability. They also come equipped with many ports so you can connect your external devices to your computer. In order for your computer to function at all, it needs power to operate. That's where the power supply comes in. In this desktop, the Corsair GS700 watt power supply is used to power all the components. The power supply has a wide range of cables to power all the devices, such as the graphics card, storage, and motherboard. Since no electronics device is 100% efficient, there is heat produced. All computers must be equipped to handle a large range of temperatures. This desktop is equipped with liquid cooling, which uses, you guessed it, liquid to take the heat from the processor and pushes it out of the back of the case. It is also important to take in cool air from the room and dispel hot air from the computer. These two fans in the front of the case bring in cool air and the radiator fan and the larger fan on the top both dispel air from the case, keeping the computer running at peak performance. Now that we have covered all the base components of a computer, let's look at the more complex ones. The processor, or central processing unit, is the brains of the whole operation. This small chip is nothing more than an insane calculator that speaks in ones and zeros. Processors come in many types and kinds, and there are two main factors to consider when looking for performance. Number of cores and clock speed. The clock speed of a processor is the speed at which each core runs. The higher the clock speed, the faster simple programs run, like a web browser. The number of cores a computer has determines its multitasking capabilities. For video rendering, more cores are better. The motherboard is the central hub for the computer. Every other component must connect to the motherboard through its own unique cable. This is a component that turns on your computer when you press the power button and allows for expandability later on. The processor can complete many tasks on its own, but it needs memory to help it temporarily store data. Random access memory, or RAM, is a very fast form of memory that is useful when rendering, whether that be in games or for videos, since data can be written and read on it very quickly. While RAM is important for rendering, there are other types of storage for everyday data. A hard drive stores your operating system, the most common being Windows, Mac OS X, and Linux, and all your data. In this computer, there are two types of hard drives. Mechanical, which is a physical disk that spins like a record to write data, and solid state, which uses flash memory to store your data, much more quickly than a mechanical drive. The final essential component of a computer is the graphics processing unit, commonly known as a graphics card. Laptops and mobile phones have GPUs as chips on their motherboards, but on desktops there are two types of graphics, integrated and dedicated. Integrated graphics are built into the motherboard, versus dedicated graphics are housed in their own card, as shown in this desktop with an NVIDIA GTX 980. These cards are extremely important for gaming and video editing, as they power short-term rendering of images in games. Well, a computer may seem really complex and difficult to understand, when you break it up into these eight pieces, it becomes much easier to comprehend. So thank you guys so much for watching this video, and make sure to give it a like below. All of the components listed in the desktop we explained today will be listed in the description below. So thanks again, and I'll see you in the next video. Have a great rest of your day.